Welcome folks to Siklakai. Today I'm taking you on a walk from Siklakai, which is um, at the vicinity of Stockholm city to the community of Naka back to uh, my region where I live but it's gonna take us a couple of kilometers so let's see if we find some interesting pictures on the way. Let's get started. So every few years, the Swedish Ministry of Housing is arranging the Svenska Bomässan, which is sort of a fair where developers and companies and architects have the opportunity to sort of create their newest invention, the newest inventions, the newest buildings, and they are asked to build it as sustainable as possible. So here in Hammarby Sjöstad, former shady industrial area, they did this in 2002. So the whole area was basically rebuilt and reshaped 2002 onwards. And I think it's very interesting to watch this. This is Kulturama Huset. It's a house of culture in a way that it uh, is a high school inside these buildings. And in that high school, there are students who specialize already on different forms of arts. Painting, designing, music, theater, all of the students there are um, pretty much skilled for arts. And that's a great thing about the Swedish school system. And here we are in front of Luma, or Luma, whatever they call it. This is the old industrial complex here at Hammerbu. In Hammerbüschöstad, that was actually the center of the industrial complex. Over there, there's a, a gym now, Satz, with, which is one of the bigger Stockholm gyms. And there's an old industrial building. And here they produced incandescent lamps or bulbs or whatever you might call them until the 1970s, until the mid of the 1970s, from the 1920s onwards. So the whole area that has changed dramatically from the 1990s onwards was once started here at the incandescent lamp factory Luma. When you walk around here, you hear lots of children's voices everywhere. Children are playing, small children, which gives the impression that this is an area where Swedish, like middle income families live since the early 2000s, or they came a little bit later. So they're everywhere around here living there. Well, beautiful, amazing hipster lives, not directly in the city, but a little bit outside. So this is like um, a little bit outside the city, about two or three kilometers. It's still sort of a kind of an urban atmosphere with lots of shops and restaurants and sushi places where you can get your your sushi, your poke bowl, or whatever you are preferring to eat nowadays. Street sign in Sweden. Yeah, Elska Day. I love you. Do best. You're the best. A channel. 
Now I'm in the backyard of the, the great uh, bulb factory from 1900, from the 1920s. And as you can see, above me there's some balconies. So they built, uh, inside the factory, they built apartments for people to live in with beautiful balconies and probably very beautiful renovation. Pretty quiet here, close to the Sikla channel. Looks like an interesting and beautiful area to live. Peaceful and quiet again, like yesterday when I walked to Harengen. Walking along the K here of Sikla Channel, Sunday afternoon, well, I think after 4, 4 p.m. Uh, here's a little bit more recognizable that, that we are in a former industrial area, but uh, as I said, most of this has been changed to an urban area, an urban area where people live, and where people work and where people go to their eateries. Well, in a couple of seconds I'm going to leave the area of Hammerbüscher start and go under that huge bridge in front of me and uh, head further on to Orsta and back home but still some way to go and as you can see here on the side beside me lots of cafes and restaurants that are still open but they're not crowded some people hanging out there eating drinking whatever uh, not all keeping distance and almost no one wearing a mask so bye bye, bye bye Hammerbüsche start, and welcome to another part of town on my way home. shortly after 5 p.m. now and it's a little less folks out on the track than like an hour ago and uh, but it actually shows this path here along the lake or the bay that we have lots of kilometers of strolls and walks in the capital. I'm very close to the city actually. It's only a half an hour walk, no, not walk, maybe 40 minutes until you reach the, the very center of, of Stockholm. So I have maybe two kilometers left on this little yeah. Sunday afternoon. And still people are not coming towards me and asking for autographs like they do that with other vloggers, but this, the day will come. So behind me and above me is the big bridge 
where the trains are rolling from Stockholm to both to Gothenburg to the west but also to uh, Malmo in the south and uh, this is Orsta Viken here the water part where I'm now and uh, I'm almost close closer to where I can take my subway back home after this Sunday walk here in Stockholm town now the Stockholm walk it's getting a little bit dark and, and I'm now entering uh, Orsta uh, in an also a very new sort of quarter where they urbanized the city even more where they built hundreds and hundreds of apartments and have built over the recent years so take a look new apartments if you want to move to Stockholm why don't you come here to Orsta to the water front a little bit like in Hammarby where it would have been an hour ago but this is newer and even more expensive so right behind me they are building 50 new homes in a quarter called K7 soon ready you can you can live at the K here of Stockholm I'm gonna look up what they cost they are one to five bedrooms let's go for a five bedroom right how about living on the 24th floor and in the morning you go all the way down with a beautiful elevator and end up in this nice and cozy restaurant to the K. Finally, we're back at Lillehorn. Oh my god, we made it. Uh, going all the way from Siklakai. I hope that you enjoyed the little walk as much as I did. I'm a little bit tired now. I need something to eat. I need something to drink. I'm going home. I hope that you are at home in your cozy little apartment, cozy little house, whatever you have. Stay safe, wear a mask, socially distance, and see you soon. Bye bye.